Okay, the next day. And this is the real treasure trove. Tapes. Uh, large inductors. I don't know what this thing is. Maybe a transformer. Yeah, good day. It's a good day. Another cover. And this is a notebook of printed out emails from 1990. These emails are older than me. <laughs> what are they about? Physics. Physics. Physics emails from 1990. PT uncertainty. X7 test beam. Muon mode. Amazing. Today we're opening door 13. And we have unlabeled alcohol and a bunch of random papers. This is your advent calendar for Tuesday, the something of December. Okay. Let's do, ooh, this one's titled Neutrino Book. And it is a book of Neutrino. Has outgoing facsimile cover sheet. Um, ooh, a fax message. Dear Susan, I wrote to Klaus on March 22nd asking him about the jacket copy for this book. I've had no response. <laughs> Are you even old enough to know what a fax is? I am. <laughs> I'm 25, I'm not 12. Okay, so, welcome to today's advent calendar. We are opening door AH. First, fax paper. Many fax papers. Next, travel reimbursement forms. Reimbursement for medical expenses. <laughs> Request for training. What kind of trainings can we have? Language courses. Language courses seems to be our option. Check out what's in this cupboard. Ooh, cables. Mm. All right, we've got some copper wires. Yeah. Uh, oh. Um, yeah, let's put that back. Um, yeah, there's also some um, more wires. These are really thin. They're uh, <laughs> probably very low on the resistance side. Yeah. Um, it's 110 meters long. Okay, wow. Uh, it says date. Oh my god. Um, 11th of March, 1971. <laughs> that is much older than me. Wow. Opening this cupboard, and in it we have some old school chemistry things. This thing here, and the best part, a mini beaker. <laughs> Hi, I have been working in this office uh, for three years, but I never tried to open this door. But now I want to open and see what I find inside. Almost empty. And maybe this is for to multiply. Unused, old. Okay. No instruction, maybe, okay. 
This is the brand EMI with this serial number made in Great Britain. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure you're supposed to open two. Nothing DC BMI. With, oh my god. One year after I was born. <laughs> okay, so today we go on the next day of the advent calendar. What have we got inside? Wow, here we are in luck. We've got a whole set of bases. We can set up our, our, ourselves a, 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 a photomultiplier system. All we need is the actual readout tube, but those, those, are, those are valuable. Except they'd be poisoned decades ago. And INFN have left us a key folder full of INFN strategy. <laughs> Alas. We have more. Not yet finished. Somebody has got some interesting liquid could be explosive could be radioactive in a special container the like of which i don't know is it a d <laughs> is it a p and finally lots of polyethylene to act as a neutron absorber always useful we were in luck Okay, um, behind today's secret door, let's see what surprises we have. What is this, actually? A very, very messy looking abandoned board of some sort. Check that out. And I'm a little curious what's in here. Ooh, it comes with an instruction manual. It's an ammeter? DC recorder manual. I wonder if this has a year in it. I guess this would be something which you might. Oh, there's a warranty. This is from 1972. It's probably out of warranty, but you never know. We could always try. Okay, let's see what we have here. Wow, photo multipliers. Lots of them, including some very big, fragile looking ones. That's cool. Happy Christmas. It's this guy. And some uh, more modern ones. That's a good day. This is today's cupboard, and uh, we've got some oil for models, Porsches and aircraft, which is nice, and a collection of tools. This one belongs to a friend, which is nice, because <laughs> every friend should have a tool. Uh, yeah, so that's today's cupboard. Happy Christmas! Hi. Okay, so I don't even know what day we're up to if we have any calendar, but here we're opening cabinet 23. And it's full of tapes um, that I can't open. Maybe 1990. There's a ton of them in here. And uh, something, uh, you know what Apollo is? This is where the real moon landing happened. And some unopened packages from the year I was born. What year was that? 1993. So maybe um, Per Werner was like his, uh, his packages. 
I don't think he ever opened them. They just went <laughs> right <laughs> into the advent calendar. And now, uh, yes, now we're covered in this dust that probably won't kill me. Let's see what's behind lucky number 14. So on today's advent calendar opening, we have an old 15 volt circuit transformer with a DAC card from, I am guessing the 90s. 1996, a, a fine vintage. Uh, I don't know what that is. We have, a, we have a bobbin of wire. Sorry. Go ahead. I don't know what this cabinet is. We have some old printed circuits that have been chopped out and put back in. <laughs> yeah. I think that's enough. I think that we can call it a day. So, Mary, Advent Calendar 14, everyone. See what's in today's cupboard. So, no smoking in the cupboard. Quite a few things. Okay, so first up we have some what looks like printouts from experiments. Or code, code from experiments. 1979. And also the output. There's some data. Don't know what experiment this is from. I think this is a histogram. Guys, what is five euro? Ah, the old Spartan uh, code. So the old code is 50 euro. That's uh, This is a document of experiments at CERN in 1982. So experiments we have running, I guess, or maybe planned. So this is... Uh, States the research program at the SPS, proton antiproton collider, and future experiments, including yes. Yeah. So, plans the experiments, search for quarks. I think we found those. <laughs> we found those now. That's okay. You're gonna find, look for the neutrino collisions. Good luck. Worked out. And high PT phenomena, which includes 1 GV searches. Okay, Good day. <laughs> so let's open today's cupboard. Armoire de. Okay. Uh, IBM DOS. IBM software for IBM personal computers, DOS version 3.0. So obviously this is computing or something, program development, outline documentation. And this guy caught my eye because it says safety. What were the safety standards like back in 1989? Oh, this is not good. So we have an email. I'm not going to say from who or to who, but the first line is, my decoding is completely wrong. Yours is almost correct. So somebody obviously made a mistake and got found out. Um, the automate programmable is configured with 208 binary variables. And it goes on from there. Uh, and then some code from the LF collaboration and the Aleph experiment, which was one of the um, the lab experiments, I guess. Cool. And that's today's cupboard.
Okay, so this is today's treasure trove. Uh, what do we have? This one looks like an old modem, early internet. And we have some printer cartridges, a joystick. stick. It says flight stick in case you want to do any flight simulations. Uh, what are these boxes? Some tubes. With instruction manuals. Oh, this is cool, but I don't know what it's for. Can you see? I don't know if you want to. Lots of really cool electronics. And this says instruction, no, installation and operating instructions. Must not uh, exceed 50 degrees centigrade. January 23, 1995. Can't remember what I was doing in 1995. Okay, and that is today's uh, treasure trove. So, <laughs> where do I start? So, this is some uh, spectral absorbance of liquids with scintillators from uh, July 1990. So, it was actually a year after I was born. <laughs> so, not that old. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess this is something like real data that they had um, on paper and um, a lot of notes that I don't quite understand what they are <laughs> in some graphs but um, yeah maybe we we'll can start again later so let's see what else I have no idea what this is I have no idea. So this looks like some tapes. I don't know. Made in... What is GDR? Is that... Uh... The German Democratic oh. Republic. What was the, 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 the bad one or the good one? <laughs> <laughs> So then I don't know if we should open it, if it <laughs> maybe it's something classified, no I think so. But I also don't have a good idea what uh, they would uh, say by them, if it's something related to the experiments or uh, what if it's just some uh, other material. And Oh, these are costs. Uh, I bet everything was a bit cheaper <laughs> back then. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that was the case in Switzerland, but... Uh, I don't know, that's probably. a pretty big folder. Oh, oof, yeah, a lot of costs. I don't know, oh, monthly salaries. This is actually approximately like my PhD salaries. <laughs> On the 19th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Oh. Some really, really old looking papers. Oh. Oh. We have punch cards. CERN punch cards, excellent. This is probably a program. I wonder if that's root before it started. How old is this stuff? Nineteen seventy five. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, there's a seat number. <laughs> <laughs> Energy 22. I guess that's MEV. Probably not GEV. 
Oh, this is amazing. Look at all of this data. <laughs> I guess we're not taking that home for Christmas. So in this cabinet, we have nothing but a Hanks calendar from 2019. It's good stuff. This has someone's appointments in it. Someone is going to burn tonight. This is very, very recent. They had nothing planned in April. Or May. But there continues to be good punks. So that lives there. So we are in cabinet number whatever, and it's a safety, safety hazard, so it doesn't open all the way. So let's see what's in there. Um, so this is a screen, I think. There is a motherboard, a GPU from a very long time ago, maybe. And there is a tea maker. So maybe there is somebody oh, from Britain that was doing hey. this. There is something Baspa. Oh! And there are CDs. There is offline anti password and registry edition. SL44, which I don't know what it is, I386, and MS Office 2003. So this is actually pretty recent. <laughs> and other than that, I think it's just cables and papers, so nothing too fun. So I think that's it from today's Advent calendar. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so let's see what we have in this closet. So, a bunch of organizers and thing, and possibly a Statue of Liberty torch. Uh, but what it actually looks like, it's a variable register that you can select using a motor that's here at the end. So right now you can find these in little chips, but I guess 20 years ago, you just connected a giant motor to them and control it that way. So somebody probably needs it. Okay. What's in here? Uh uh. Ancient electronics. Voltmeter. Uh two by sixteen MIM. ECL differential fan out cards. Hottest technology from 1981. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hello, I'm Chris and happy Christmas Eve. And today we're gonna to be looking in this cupboard in building one of CERN. So if we, if we just open up here. So on the top shelf, it looks like we've got a whole lot of folders. So we can have a look at the first one. So if we look in here, um, there's obviously a lot of paper here. And it looks like it's it's uh, the different runs. And um, we've got K-Longs, 450 GEV. And you've got a run number, so that you know how, how which run it is. And they're recording all the different bits of data that we see. Um, so it's kind of interesting. And then let's look on the next shelf. So we've got a big grey box. It's in here. Lots of very similar looking things. So I pull this out and then if I lift it, lift it up to the light, and you can see tiny little plots, which are presumably for some kind of slide projector or recording of the data for future, future use. And it says on the end here when it was produced. So this is all from, from 1986. Um, so it's the year before I was born. Bottom, we've got even more of them from 1988 this time. 
So a very interesting couple. So Merry Christmas, everyone.